materials. Some people actually Thank you. Better? Yes. Okay, some people think that the city manager's office is actually Mr. Scott's office, but we actually run a number of program divisions out of the office. The office includes the city clerk's uh, office, information technology, human resources, communications and community relations, and support to the mayor and the city council. You've all met Marian Honda, our city clerk, and she, along with her deputy, uh, Vivian Chu, handle all of the work involved in preparing the city council agenda packets and minutes. They are the official record keepers and responsible for record retention and also responding to public records requests. I'll just point out that in the last year we had more than 130 such requests. This particular time of year is a very busy time of year for Marion and her staff as she's handling the local election. One of the major accomplishments in the clerk's office last year in collaboration with our IT department was the implementation of the automated agenda preparation and digital delivery of agenda packets and also the audio streaming of council and committee meetings, which makes it easier for the public to access the information via our website. The clerk was also instrumental in completing the redistricting process that was a result of the um, 2010 federal census data. Our information technology division is headed by Rayanne Fowler, our, our IT manager, and she and her support staff provide support to all of the city departments in the technical infrastructure and data that we use. This includes the network, hardware, software, telecommunications, our geographic information systems, and also central services. And we're fortunate enough to actually have in-house graphic design artist. Last year, they worked not only with the clerk's office on the implementation of the automated agenda system, um, but they also worked on the analysis that was necessary to complete the redistricting process. And right now, they are working uh, right here in the library to assist in lighting up the library um, with the Lit San Leandro fiber, which will be coming to the library soon. They're also working with the departments on updating our long-range information systems plan. Human Resources Division handles really all of the activities related to the people in our organization, and that includes recruiting and training, um, our employee benefits, and labor relations. This year, we were fortunate enough to um, restore an HR manager position in the budget, and we have completed that recruitment <coughs> process and hope to have an announcement soon. The HR staff also provides support to the Personnel Relations Board, and this is a board of five members that are appointed by the mayor. And the board, the board is charged with reviewing uh, job classification specifications and recruitment procedures. HR is working with our IT uh, division to implement a paperless process for handling the many personnel actions that um, occur as a result of new hires and pay changes and so forth. And they're also working on a number of recruitments, particularly in our police department, because we have several vacancies there. office also is the Center for Communications and Community Relations, and one of the things we do is we issue a weekly update to the City Council 
that gives them information about upcoming events, um, follow-ups to questions that council members have, news from outside agencies, etc. And these updates are posted on our website. We also publish monthly electronic newsletters for both the community and for our employees. And we serve as a clearinghouse for press releases. We are currently working on an update to our website that incorporates feedback that we received from a community advisory panel to try to improve the access and information available to the public. And with that,